All right, thank you, Olivia. It is 519 and it is Thursday, so let's eat. There's a pizza place that makes a great pie, but also provides to go options for sit down classic dishes like lasagna, which I love. Seven News is Christine Scarpelli is live at Belt in Belton at Pizza and Then Some Hi. to show us more. Christine, how's the eats? Good girl, yes. I need some enthusiasm at pizza and then some because I'm about to eat ice cream for breakfast. Pizza right. and then some. Yeah, I know Jonathan Gosnell's excited. This is his shop here in Belton. He's got a few other locations. First, though, I want to have you check out what they're cooking up here. Take a look. Okay, you may see me sitting down, but don't get too comfortable. Pizza and then some here in Belton is actually a to-go restaurant. Takeout, especially swarming on game days. Belton loves pizza and then some. It's time for you to come check them out. It's not just the pizza, it's the people. It's working with the people, it's the rush. When it's Friday night, the phones are ringing off the hook. Owner Jonathan Gosnell says he bleeds marinara, and they make it in-house, I should add. He played line cook growing up, started delivering pies as a teen, and pressed through pizza boot camp at big chain stores, until eventually he and his partner opened this place. We kind of tried to build on the end then some, you know, with lasagna, calzone, stromboli, subs things like that and now in Belton we've got ice cream. We'll get there but first check out those skills. Gosnell says they make their dough sauce and ranch in house. Get hand tossed or thin crust. All right so we're gonna make a chicken bacon ranch and this stuff is the bomb. We're gonna go with some mozzarella cheese. Make sure you get it all the way to the outside. I think the vegetables add another level of flavor. The crust was soft and puffy and heavy on the cheese just the way I like it. Gosnell says fresh and local ingredients make all the difference like their oven roasted chicken on pizza or wings. All right, we want to make sure and get a good coating on both sides. You're going to eat both sides of the wings, so you got to season both sides of the wings. And then it lets it crisp up in the oven. It's going to have a nice little crunch on the skin and still tender on the inside. The spicy mango wings warmed me up. Just a little heat. And, the, and then some part didn't disappoint with homemade lasagna. This is our old world sauce. We use this on our lasagnas. Creamy, garlicky, you know, you got that Parmesan, give a little salt, five layers, two with meat, the other two with cheese, and then the top one is just sauce and ricotta. So pull up for your pizza and then some for the total package. If you don't love it, you ain't gonna make it. It's the closest you can get to playing in a game without strapping on a uniform. So whether you're craving an ooey gooey slice of pizza or something else, they'll take care of you here in Belton at Pizza and Then Some, we say. Let's, Let's eat. eat! Such a good sport, Jonathan is. Jonathan Gosnell is owner here in Belton. But Pizza and Then Some, sir, you've got other locations. Where are those? We have one in Easley and, and one on Haywood and Pelham Road in Greenville. Very good. You pride yourself on the And Then Some. He certainly does. We have salted caramel ice cream this morning. You have a couple other really good flavors, though, right? Oh, mint chocolate chip, butter pecan. Awesome. Cappuccino crunch always gets you going. Is in the that morning. popular after people get their pizza? Absolutely. Nice. Game day is uh, huge. A lot of too. time before their pizza. No way. Oh, yeah. While they're waiting for their pizza, Absolutely. they're getting it. Well, who knew? This is exactly how to do it. Guys, we're going to show you plenty this morning. Good to have some pizza hey, here. Hold on. Have you, some you need this one. Oh, so check that out. He'll take care of you guys. Pizza and then some right here in Belden. Tell me real quick, what days are you open? We're open Monday through Sunday. Um, nice. Well, Hours of operation. We're going to put it all at WSPA.com. And I think we're going to start eating this morning. What do you think, Diane? Sound good? <laughs> Back to you. What more on 7 News after this?